This new law effective January 1st in California gives survivors of sexual abuse an opportunity to do something to make other kids safe, an opportunity to take action like you never could before, an opportunity to expose the offender that violated you sexually as a child, and an opportunity to expose any organization or institution that chose to protect that offender. What is noteworthy about this case is not that Father Kearney had a lack of self-control, not just that Father Kearney acted out against children at this school, in this archdiocese. What's noteworthy is the cover-up and the extent to which it pervades. I too uh, suffered at the hands of a monster, a monster who was put in the midst of the altar boys and the school that I attended. And he took full advantage of the trust that my family, uh, the other parishioners gave him. Uh, just like this victim here, when you read his story, Father Fidencio would also wrestle with me and the other altar boys and would get in there and start touching. You know, that was the first level of, uh, how do we say, of, uh, of getting to know me and how far could he go. Father Fidencio had 29 victims that came forward back in 2002. Here we have six victims that are coming forward in uh, 2019. I'm sure there's going to be more. In 2003, I came forward and sued the Diocese of Orange and Modern Day High School because I was sexually abused by a teacher while I was a young student. So by coming forward, what I was able to do was to take my name and my dignity back. I was able to stand up and say what happened to me was wrong, and it was a crime, and it wasn't my fault. I was able to expose the man who abused me, I was able to expose documents that showed that he confessed to what happened and that the school knew. And I was eventually able to have him removed from his job where he was still working with children in Michigan. The California Child Victims Act, Assembly Bill 218, does three things that put California at the front of child protection in the country. The first thing that the California Child Victims Act does is provides for cover-up damages it's the first time in the country, first time in the world, that there's ever been a law that specifically addresses the cover-up of child sex abuse. That provision right here will make kids safer here. And it's a wake-up call and an alarm for all institutions who have covered up and concealed child sex abuse. Number two, what the California Child Victims Act does that is different is this law is for all survivors in California. This lawsuit and the courageous survivor we represent today was abused in the Catholic Church, covered up by Catholic bishops. But this law, the California Child Victims Act, applies to all survivors. So survivors that were abused in day camps, in public schools, in different denominations, by their next door neighbor, this law applies to all of them. That's number two. And the third thing that the California Child Victims Act does is gives an opportunity for the next three years and beyond for survivors to come forward, get their power back, get their voice back, and be leaders in the child protection movement. Now, the power is in the hands of us survivors who can come forward, whether as a Jane or a John Doe, or using their name and say, I will not tolerate child sexual abuse and cover up anymore. The Me Too movement in California has now extended to the most vulnerable victims we have, our children.